Uh, can I get a donut basket? All right, which one? Um, the three-piece tender, please. You said the three-piece tender? Yes, ma'am. Any tipping sauce? No, thank you. All right, will that be all? Yes, ma'am. 598 is the window. Thank you. What the fuck? Do I need, like, barbecue sauce to go with my donut and chicken? Hey, guys, what's up? I'm Greg No Q. Today, this thing. Here comes a close-up. You would think I would want to talk about this, I don't know, donut with a piece of chicken in it. But no, what I want to talk about is that sound you hear in the background. It's the first week of March and you'll hear my air conditioner as I'm doing this voiceover. What the hell is wrong with this world? Anyway, chicken, donut, glaze, more donut, more glaze, chicken, yeah, yeah, close up. Strike one. I don't know about you guys. I don't like my hands being dirty, I don't like them being sticky, and I can only imagine what awaits me on the other side of this. I can literally feel the years leaving my body as whatever this is drips from the donut. I paid for this. I paid someone actual money to do this to myself. As your avatar and your host through this seedy world of fast food reviews, I'm gonna do my best to actually hold this in my hand and do all three bites. Should the need arise, I did come prepared with a fork. All right, those of you that don't know, three bites in a grade, that's how this works. Hey, look at this fucking guy. Bite one. Bite two. Bite three. When three bites are sufficient, that's usually the stopping point. In this case, I'm going to continue a little further for this reason. So far, this sandwich has exhibited the uh, law of diminishing returns. Each bite has been less enjoyable than the one before it. Fourth bite. Here we go. I think this is what we wanted to see. Wow, watch me eat this chicken. Yep, it's chicken. If at the start of this video you saw the picture and went, ooh, donut chicken sandwich, that's really, really gross. I wanna watch this guy gag on it. Well then nothing I say here will convince you otherwise. If this doesn't sound good, it's not gonna overcome it. But if upon hearing the description, and seeing, you know, thumbnail, you thought, hmm, donuts and chicken, I've been waiting my whole life for that. If that's the case, then this is the meal for you. If this sounds good to you, it lives up to it. In fact, I would dare say the donut and chicken is better than the waffle and chicken. For what it's worth, the, um, the batter on the waffle and chicken tasted like, I don't know, batter made from dirty hobo sweat socks, while this tastes like batter made from bland, bland, bland with sweet stuff poured on it. Mm -mm. Now again, remember, this isn't anything that's gonna change your opinion of whether or not you wanted this to begin with. But if you did want this and it did sound good, it's a nice little combo. I'd give it an 86 out of 100. And I will leave you with my promise. As I've told you since day one, the one thing that is safe on this channel Always an honest opinion, no swerve, is the food review. Everything else, lizards. Could be made up bullshit, who knows? But the food reviews, honest. Because I remember what it's like to have $8 and two days to eat on $8 and you gotta make good decisions for your food. Or God forbid you've gotta include kids in that formula somehow. Just cause some jerk off on YouTube you know, wants an extra 100 bucks or a t-shirt for free He's willing to, you know, sell his soul and give something a good grade. That will never happen here. If I don't like it, I will straight up tell you. Until next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find us on all social media. Mr. Happy, 0121. Looks like I'm wearing a do-rag. Huh. Stay vigilant.